Flew to LA Sunday, left at 9 a.m., got back at 10 p.m. Fairly unmotivated trip. Love BART. Monday, extra unmotivated. Uh, banged out a couple calls and emails. Is there's a, a moniker that like business folks or gurus talk about where they talk about uh, don't change your end goal or your dreams, but the path there may have to change. It may not look like what you want, but if you keep that kind of guiding North Star going, you know, a North Star, if you're like all in on that goal, regardless, you'll have to find a way there. And I'm like, that's everywhere, bro. We're, we're dealing with new manufacturers and factories for the apparel company because people just like communication or consistency or pricing, like shipping is going crazy. Even the price of cotton is going up. So that's like a headache. I'm talking like 10 different new ones. I've talked to probably 200 over the last four years to try to find the quality and communication we need. So changing all that, talk to you all about investing in real estate and, uh, they make buying a house so hard. Like people complain about buying a house because of cost and interest rates, which is all very true. But like the, that's another one where the end goal is like buy a house or for me, it's investment properties. Right. And there are certain guidelines to get loans and to get there, but each case is still so unique where business obviously like make money is goal of business always. And the path is basically just an open field. There's not many actual drawn out lines because every business is going to be set up so different from your payment processors to the business model, to your overhead, to the culture of the company, et cetera. There's just so many variables in there. Show my boy Guzman. We'll read exactly what he said, but he kind of talked about and has gone through exactly what I'm going through. Where like decision fatigue and everything else in your life is going crazy. So then like your actual eating and training habits end up shit. He says, sometimes when business stress feels like it's peaking, it can be super easy for us to say fuck it to our personal health and fitness goals. I'm definitely guilty of this, mainly in the form of sacrificing, not caring about my sleep schedule. So like for him, it's sleep. For me, it's like food. You know, as soon as like stress gets real high or there's so many variables that just weigh me down with emails and calls and like, it's like you get all this momentum and you're sprinting and then all of a sudden like a brick wall shows up. And then you just got to like run along this wall until you can find a gap in it to get there. So it's just so tiring. Although it's only like one thing, you know, the whole business or the whole strategy isn't shattered. Um, it can feel crazy to freeding. He said, through any phase of my life, lifting weights has been my constant. It's been my anchor. But honestly, having the mentality, I'll put my body through whatever the hell it needs to succeed. As long as I keep my passion and consistency for lifting, I'll be okay. It did wear me out. He said, now I'm 31 and I feel for the first time in my life, I'm finally uh, valuing my sleep overall recovery even if it may, means taking two or three days out of the gym per week quality of food choices and overall feel better blah 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 um so yeah like he sacrificed his sleep and for me it's always sacrificed my food so that's kind of why we're made like a conscious decision to have like a diet break or a mini bulk i've probably put on like 10 pounds some is, is glycogen for sure um, but i could for sure see my abs are, are disappearing and then that doesn't feel good, right? So like all these lack, like walls line up that just like don't feel good, you know? Uh, and that's where we sit. So not very stoked, not very energetic, um, but we'll get a little push day done. I've been trying to jump rope or something to get my athleticism. Walking's great. It's, it burns some calories, good for my heart, but I've been jumping rope. Feels a little bit better. And uh, ground beef and rice for another, I think we're going to start June 9th. So we'll start cutting June 9th and we'll go 30 days strict cut and see what we can accomplish in 30 days. Shout out my boy Tristan Lee. That fool said he never had pizza in seven years. Didn't even think about it. And I believe him. He wasn't like bragging about it. Like we, we had to dig it out of him. Because some dudes on the internet will brag about that, you know. Hey man, I haven't had a carb. And shut the fuck up. Because they're trying to sell you something. He ain't trying to sell you shit. He just literally is like, yeah man, it's just like not part of my routine. I'm a routine guy. I'm like, fuck. And me and Bart are like, man, we're, we're happy if we go five days on our diet without a cheat meal. There's levels to it, folks. And that's why you shredded. But we'll get there. So 30 days, probably starting, which lines up perfectly with my birthday. That's what I was thinking. So if we, go, if we start on June 9th, we'll go 30 days or we'll just go to July 9th. My birthday is the 12th. And then I'll have like ice cream cake or some shit, you know. But we'll go 30 days, fully locked in to see how shredded we get on a pretty extreme diet. So it's not something I recommend for everybody, but we'll go over the details of that as we get there. We'll mini vlog along the way, but then we'll probably do one video. That's the 30 day diet. So you guys will get mini updates, maybe not the nudies or the progress um, until the real video.
the real video, you'll, you'll see cock and everything. That'll be on a different website. Ultimate stretch here, kids. Headbutted that thing. How do you get that? Are we fucked? Will <laughs> <laughs> fit? God damn. Oh. Woo. Gym owner duties. <laughs> Gym owners. Daily life here. Ow. I told him, I was like, bro, I'd probably fight Bryce Hall for a bag. Like, I know he's legit, but like, the bag's there. He probably weighs what, a buck eighty? Yeah. I could get down there. Bulk in the cut. One peak, kids. Three, two, one. Eye of the tiger. Gang, 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 gang. Ding, dong, ding. I appreciate y'all for listening, man. Um, the bulk continues. So six more days, I'm going to eat a little bit, sleep a little bit, and then uh, we'll tap back into some more serious fitness goals. 30 days, get as shredded as possible, taking you along with me. One big video at the end, but we'll do updates along the way. Appreciate you, and I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Good little sweat in that, that jump rope. So feeling good despite being a little heavier, uh, but I appreciate y'all, man. Catch you in the next one.